Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Attorney General, I want to congratulate you and all those who are risking their lives in the war on terror and fighting crime of some very serious and substantial tactical successes uh, against a very vicious enemy. And I, I think it's appropriate that we all acknowledge the hard work that's gone into keeping the country safe. Now, from a strategic point of view, I think we're coming to some crossroads here as a nation about what we need to be doing in the future. Now, I embrace trying to find a new confinement facility other than Guantanamo Bay. Senator McCain did when he ran for president, Senator Obama, President Bush. But I've come to conclude, and <clears throat> I may not be the best vote counter in the world, that we're not going to close Gitmo uh, anytime soon. In September of 2000, of this year, you were in Brussels, and I think you stated to the uh, European Parliament, we have an election that is coming up in 2012, in November of 2012. We'll be pressing for the closure of the facility between now and then, being Gitmo. And after the election, we will try to close it as well. Uh, am I wrong in assuming there's not the votes here to close Gitmo before November 2012? Well, you can certainly count votes better than I can um, in this body and probably in the House as well, having, you having served there. Um, but it is the administration policy to try to close Guantanamo. Um, we think it would be an appropriate thing to do for a whole variety of, uh, of reasons. Um, we have certainly run into opposition. Um, but well, let, uh, let, me, let me, if I may just interrupt. I understand where you're coming from, and, and I've embraced the idea of trying to find a new confinement facility, but certain legal changes had to occur for that to be viable. They haven't occurred. We don't need to blame each other. But from now going forward, we do live in a real practical world. Do you agree with that? In a real practical world. Yeah, we've got to make practical decisions here. It's not as practical as I'd like it to be all the time, but it's somewhat practical. <laughs> but, but I buy into the idea, all of the above <laughs> approach, that sometimes Article III courts are maybe the best venue in trying terrorists. I've never said that Article III courts don't have a place in this war, and I've been very passionate about military commissions, and I think we see that the same, that, that we should have an all of the above approach and be as flexible as possible. But I guess my point, Mr. Attorney General, is that we don't have a jail and the war on terror for future captures. And I think that makes us less safe. What is our pot? Where would we put someone if we caught them tomorrow, a high value target? Where do we confine them? Yeah. It is something that we are discussing. Um, would you put them in Afghanistan? Well, there are a, a number of options that we are discussing and we are trying to work our way through to come up with a proposal that uh, would be both effective and that would generate the necessary I, I just support. I honestly can't see an option that makes sense. Uh, the idea of putting them on ships for a limited period of time is not a viable substitute because ships were never meant to be permanent confinement facilities. I don't see Afghanistan accepting new war on terror captures that'll bring the Afghan government down. Certainly the Iraqis are not going to do it. So if we don't use Gitmo, what are we going to do? Well, as I said, those are the options that we're trying to um, discover. The president has made clear, the administration has made clear that we are not going to be using the Guantanamo facility. So we have to come up with options oh. that can okay. be funded and supported Mr. by Attorney Congress. General, I have tried to be supportive as I know how to be in creating flexibility for the executive branch and not micromanage the war. But I've come to conclude Gitmo is not going to close and there is no viable option other than uh, Guantanamo being used that the Iraqi legal system is not going to allow us. They're not going to become the jailer for the United States. Afghanistan is not going to become the jailer of the United States. Naval ships are not a good option. So I just really believe that we need to embrace reality. And the reality is we need a jail. We don't have one. And Gitmo is the only jail available. Now, this doc duck guy who the, is being held by the Iraqis, he's a Hezbollah capture in Iraq, an Iranian um, basically uh, inspired person who was training uh, Shia militias and is charged with killing five Americans. If we don't put him in Gitmo, where are we going to put him? Well, those are options we have been discussing, uh, how he will be dealt with. Um, our, our topics of conversation that I've engaged in with my counterparts on the national security. We had a conversation about Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and how I thought it would be ill-advised to put him in New York City civilian court, federal court, because he wasn't an enemy combatant who would be. And I think that didn't go over well, simply because it was a ill-suited uh, case choice, not the fact that 
you can't use, you know, Article Three courts, just not for somebody like him. Mr. Attorney General, if you try to bring this guy back to the United States and put him in civilian court or use a, a military commission inside the United States, uh, holy hell is going to break out. And if we let him go and turn him over to the Iraqis, that's just like letting him go. I think this would be a huge mistake. He's charged with killing five Americans. And at the end of the day, I try to be as practical as I know how to be. It would be a national disgrace to allow this guy to escape justice. And the only option available to this nation is Gitmo because there's bipartisan opposition to creating a confinement facility in the United States. And I just beg and plead with this administration to create an option that is viable, and the only viable option is to use Guantanamo Bay. Now, let's talk about Guantanamo Bay. Do you believe it is a humanely run prison? I think I, I've been to Guantanamo, and uh, as the facility is now run, I believe that the men and women down there conduct themselves in an appropriate way and that uh, prisoners are treated in a humane fashion. Isn't it true that every detainee at Guantanamo Bay will have access to our federal courts to make a habeas petition for their release? Right. There are a number of cases that we, in fact, are handling here in the D.C. courts. Isn't it true that any conviction that comes from a military commission will be automatically appealed to our civilian court system? Uh, I, I think that that's true. I'm not sure, but I think that's true. I think that's true. So the bottom line is that we all agree that Guantanamo Bay is a humane detention facility, being well run, and that we have civilian oversight of what happens at Guantanamo Bay. So my view is that we're less safe if we don't have a prison. And please tell me in the next 30 days, submit to this committee or me individually a plan, because we're running out of time that would be reasonable, sound, and has political support to confine future captures and to move people out of Iraq and Afghanistan who are too dangerous to let go. Could you do that in 30 days? Uh, I don't know. Um, this is a decision that will be made by, I will be a part of the decision-making process, but the decision itself will be made by, uh, I think, people higher up. Well, could you tell those people higher up that we're about to withdraw from Iraq and these people in Iraq are going to be let go and we're running out of the ability to hold people in Afghanistan, that time is not on our side. The war is an ongoing enterprise and we need a jail. So I urge and we'll have other senators urge you to find a solution to this problem within 30 days. Thank you very much for your service. Sure. The one thing I'd say is, and I'd go back to what you um, started with, in, in Whatever the proposal is, whatever the administration works its way through, I hope that it will be viewed um, in a practical manner by uh, members of, of Congress and take into account the history that we have with regard to our ability to safely detain people, um, to try people, uh, and understand that whatever it is, the proposal that we make... I try to be practical sometimes to my own detriment, but I promise you I'll be practical. <laughs> Senator Thank Schumer. You. Thank you.